So why should we care about ethics? Ethics is how we connect with the world. Ethics first. Are you ready? Daniels Fund Ethics Initiative at UCCS. Ethics comes first. Ethics do matter to me. Trust. Respect. Accountability. Integrity. Fairness. Ethics do matter. It matters because it determines your happiness, it determines your profitability, and it determines your success. Ethics First Kickoff. The Daniels Fund Ethics Initiative at UCCS is a resource for principle-based ethics education. We serve students, educators, business leaders, and community members across campus and Southern Colorado. I'd like to talk to you today a little bit about practical ethics. We just heard from the CEO of Water. There's a lot of things that will that you'll learn and there's different tests and theories that you'll be given through your education and through your career on how to make good ethical decisions. But in most instances, the best filter is the one that's already right inside of you. You have an innate ability to know the difference between right and wrong. What he said really resonated with me. He asked us questions like, why are we here? What are our core values? What is our purpose in life? And I think that ethics is the most important thing that you have to do in your institution. An ethical culture starts from the tone at the top. As you think about it, ethics is really at really a fundamental level. And now we're trying to really step it up to an organization level. Chancellor Reddy, um, he has really focused on having an ethical culture and building trust since he's become chancellor throughout our campus, which is invaluable. In our industry, if we're not doing the right thing, then the students at the school are the ones that lose out. Ethics elevates institution. It's the UCCS creed. I've been talking about academic excellence. Our character is the highest quality. We reach higher. I feel ethics is an important component of that academic excellence. The reason that I work here is because I love to see people succeed in life. And getting a degree is how a lot of these people want to achieve that. So we have to have ethics in our line of business so that the right people get the right resources so that they can achieve their goals. Ethics start with us. You can include ethical culture in everyday uh, decision making processes. In the Ethics First kickoff meeting today, the thing I appreciated most, we actually have to live them on a day-to-day, -day, an hour-to-hour, -hour, and a minute-by-minute -minute basis. The ideas of integrity and the way we treat one another is what really stood out to me. You want to be with people that you trust, people that care about you, and you care back. So as you think about it, ethics is really at, really at a fundamental level. At the end of the day, it's not what we've accomplished or accumulated, it's how we've treated others and been treated in life that matter. And that you have to trust who you work with and bring your integrity. Personally, if we don't have our own integrity, if we don't act with integrity, uh, we're not living up to our own potential, we're not living up to who we've been called to be. Good. Integrity is necessary for leadership. Ever since I started here at UCCS, I recently got an internship, and ethics has been a part of day one since I started here. And now that I'm bringing it into the workplace, even though I'm lower on the totem pole of less say in the company, I want to use the ethics that I learned here to be a leader in my company. Treat other people in a manner of respect, and fairness, and trust. I talk about respect. If we just talk with respect, so it, it's critical that we personally have that integrity and that, that we then share it to grow and build a culture of ethics on this campus. Each one of us has the responsibility to do our part. 